Okay everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a leaf rubbing picture and you've probably done leaf rubbings or painting rubbings or whatever but I'm going to show you how to do one. So what you're going to need is you're just going to need some paper this is just a regular piece of printer paper you're going to need crowns, I'm doing green, pink and blue and then a leaf, I'm doing a maple leaf from my tree outside so yeah okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your leaf and you're going to break off the stem and you want a good leaf um oh bug you want a good leaf that's like if you want a tiny leaf that's fine but like you don't want one that's like all bent Whatever, you don't want to do this in the fall, like if you want a fall picture, do fall colors or whatever, but don't do it in the fall because you have those crusty, dried out leaves, and those don't work. I'm going to take your crowns, and I'm just doing um, a blue-green, a red-violet, and a yellow-green. So, let's begin. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your leaf and you're going to just place it under there. You don't have to do the whole leaf. And you're going to take a color. We'll start off with the blue. And you're just going to, let's see, let's do this. Okay. Sorry if you hear any noise, it's my sister. So you're just going to hold it, oops. And you're going to very lightly color. You don't want to push too hard or else you could ruin your leaf. Then you'd have to find another leaf and then it wouldn't be the same leaf and then you'd have a not even picture. I'm just going to feel for the leaf. It doesn't have to be a leaf, but you know. So, that's good. So you can see some of it came up. So I like the leaf part came up, so. There you go. And then go ahead and just move it to a different spot. And then just take a different color. Go on top and doing the green yellow or yellow green. Oops. 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 And don't be afraid to like mix your colors into one another. Like as you can see there, you got the green up into it. You look brown on the camera. It's green. And then go ahead and move your leaf around and do again. So this one, as you can see, it's like, I don't know, put that paper on it. We're going to peel off the paper if I can. I don't know. Eh. Okay. You know what? Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Yay. That's good enough. Just about to do it so you don't have stuff. And then go ahead and... I'm bringing this one up into both the green and the blue. And don't push too hard. Just very lightly run over it. Let's see if that's good. Okay. 
So as you can see right here, like there's no leaf design, but that's okay. Alright. So just continue on doing that and try unless you want it. I try to not let the colors touch. Like don't have blue right by green or whatever. But or not blue right by green. Green right by green or blue right by blue or whatever. So that way it's just one big thing and it's not really like as you can see I got green here and then green up there. Um, I don't want like blue here and then blue there or whatever. Unless you want like a whole blue picture. Okay, so, oh man, the cloud fell. So yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to say is that when shading you want to always go the same direction. I just want to go one direction. Haha. <laughs> but, um, wait, seriously. You want to go the same direction always. So if you're going side to side, continue going side to side until you are done shading that leaf, or else you have a messed up leaf, and you don't want that. Because if you start, it's almost done. And you switch directions on your last leaf. Then you don't want to mess the picture unless you like switching directions. But, yeah, there's a lot of purple in this picture. So, anyways, make sure you always go the same direction. So you don't mess up the picture. I am almost done with mine. Let's go a little bit more. We'll do a purple right here. Just on the side. And we'll do a blue right here. And a little bit red. Oh, I just lost my purple. Another blue down here. And let's do some green. Since we have that blue separated, and since I don't feel like gold, I'm going to give you my purple. I'll do a little bit down here. Alright. So there you have the picture. Let's take a picture of it. So, alright. So I'll probably take some pictures and show you it. But yeah, so it's really easy. Try it. It doesn't have to be relief. It can be anything that has marks that come out. Now, your leaf will get like, it might be crisp when you start, but it gets floppy. It's a floppy leaf. Since you've worn it out. Oh, maybe I'll switch it Alright, so. Alright, so try it, and bye!